first thing to note is that I am extremely sick right now. I don't know what kind of cold this is, but uh, I'm halfway breathing through my mouth because uh, my nose is completely uh, stopped up through both barrels, uh, both nostrils, whatever. Uh, so there's that. Um, this is not supposed to be an ASMR video. Uh, I understand that my voice does sound different than normal, but it's because uh, everything from the neck up is out of commission. Anyway, I have two articles here, and this these two articles are going to essentially reinforce a video I made way back when I first heard that Amazon was coming to, uh, well, that the DC metro area was one of the, um, was one of the potential, uh, landing, landing points, um, second bases, base camps for Amazon and why I didn't have a problem. Now, of course, my problem with it was strictly physical, was strictly what are you going to do with all these new people coming in here? Because Amazon is not about to... All, however many people that Amazon is going to bring in here, they're not going to be 100% from the area. They're going to be bringing in people from across the country and probably, God forbid, across the world. So, that's going to be more people. Uh, the price of everything is going to go up, hence Silicon Valley. They, they, uh, do we not learn anything from them? Uh, was nothing learned from them? Uh, and, and this area, this DC metro area, is already um, expensive as it is. It's only going to go up from here if they set foot in here, right? All that stuff. So that that's um, and then of course the only streets that are worse than DC streets from a physical street, the actual street standpoint, is Baltimore streets. Okay. Uh, if DC just even just repaved all the streets in that diamond, fine. But uh, anyway, let's 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 move on. So, got two articles here, and this the these two articles I actually found them up some time back, and I was gonna make a video earlier, but I just got busy. This these are gonna highlight the problems that people are having with Amazon, and yes, this comes from Fox News, but eh. well, one comes from Fox News, the other one comes from somewhere else. So let's go into it. Amazon's Virginia HQ2 faces some New York style backlash by Christopher Carbone or Carbone. Carbone uh, I'll say Carbone. Amazon could be facing a New York style backlash in response to its plans for a massive second headquarters, a massive second headquarters in Virginia. Okay, so stop right there. Um, me having lived in the DC area, DC metro area since. Uh, 93 when I was five years old is when I came to this country um, since 93 massive second headquarters in Virginia okay so so the first thing is it's gonna be right next to Arlington from what I've come to understand um, not Arlington uh, Reagan Reagan Airport it is already packed like sardines in that entire area so I don't know where they're gonna be building a massive say with me now massive headquarters right next to an airport right if they went out west closer to Dulles I can understand that um, they have that whole stretch between DC and Baltimore that whole stretch of nothingness almost I mean there's stuff there but you know but to build it right next to Arlington uh, I keep saying Arlington build it right next to Reagan Airport in that already claustrophobic area I, I don't know how they're gonna do it but apparently that's where it's going to be so that right there, problem. Uh, headquarters in Virginia, in, uh, inspired in the, inspired in part by the success of community activists and elected officials like New York Democratic Republic, uh, sorry, Democratic Representative Rep. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Jesus, she has she has some teeth and gums on her, but that's irrelevant. Um, a group of advocates calling themselves quote, for us, not Amazon, unquote, is demanding, demanding, is demanding that new that Northern Virginia reject the tech giant's plans for a second headquarters in Arlington. 
The activists are decrying the negative impact uh, of displacement and rising housing costs on lower income and minority communities in the region, along with Amazon's anti-union stance, all of which New York opponents of Amazon had also brought up. Now, the interesting thing about this. Okay, well, yes, the rising housing costs, again, what did I just say about Silicon Valley? Uh, the, the negative impact displacement on low income and minority communities. This is going to also impact white communities as well. Um, now, yes, uh, Fairfax is, is, is a rich area. Uh, I think it even managed to beat out Potomac somehow. I don't know how that's, I mean, Potomac was the place if you want to talk about rich, but maybe they're just extra rich and nobody counts them because it skews the average. But, you know, like, Think, think palatial mansions on, uh, like, li uh, what's that show? What is that show called? Um, the Rich and Famous, um, Cribs or Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. When you think palatial man mansions, like over in Hollywood and all that stuff, yeah, that's in Potomac. That's not even in Arlington, even though apparently Arlington, um, uh, I think is considered richer than Potomac now. It certainly wasn't back in the 90s, but... When you want to think mansions with a whole bunch of yard around it, like acres and acres, yeah, that's Potomac. Um, yeah, um, I think everyone, everywhere except for Potomac is going to feel it. Not just poor and middle income, um, not just lower income and minority communities. I think everywhere except for Potomac is going to be feeling um, Amazon's uh, presence, so uh, if you will. Uh, moving on, uh, Roshan Abram, Roshan Abram, yes, uh, an organizer with our uh, with our Revolution Arlington, never heard of them, uh, said during a recent meeting of For Us Not Amazon that the country could uh, should vote the deal down. This country, Jesus, I really am sick. The county, county should vote the deal down, according to Washington Business Journal. Quote, if Amazon chooses not to come to, if Amazon chooses to not come to Arlington, over 23 million good riddance, unquote. According to data, that's hyperlinked, according to data from real estate firm Long & Foster, medium home, median home prices in Arlington have risen by 10% from a year ago to 607.5 thousand. Well, um, well, uh, inventory, uh, while inventory has dropped by 38% and by 48% in nearby Alexandria. A December poll showed 68% of Virginians approve of the Amazon deal, while 30% uh, disapprove. Quote, since this deal was announced, either the state, uh, neither the state nor the county has done any outreach to the communities that will be most impacted by HQ2. The working class communities, immigrants, Spanish speaking, and black and brown communities. I always hate it when people say black and brown. Black, comma, brown. It is two completely different things. Uh, black and brown communities. These groups have been systematically excluded from the discussion about HQ2, which significant, significantly skews the approval ratings of the deal, Abram explained, uh, unquote, Abram explained to Fox News Media. Uh, Vox News via email. Oh, Jesus, my nose is getting worse. F uh, the For Us Not Amazon Coalition has spent weeks canvassing in those communities and found the overwhelming majority of the residents they've spoken to do not support the Amazon deal. Amazon plans. Amazon's plans for Crystal City for the Crystal City neighborhood would see. Okay, now this is quite interesting. Amazon's plans for the Crystal City neighborhood would see 25,000 jobs created over the course of 12 years. Um, yeah. Uh, with, with, with an average, uh, with average wages of over 150,000. Okay, so 150,000 one dollar. Okay. 25,000 jobs created over the course of 12 years. So in a 12-year span, 25,000 jobs would be created. 
that is not it, 25 in 1.2 decades just 25,000 jobs that's not much you can lose that you can lose 25,000 jobs in a week right that that's really not much Okay, and the fact that uh, the average wage is going to be a hundred and fifty thousand, over a hundred fifty thousand, yeah, that means that it's not going to be low level jobs. It's not going to be low level uh, drop shipping, um, work in the warehouse, sorting jobs. Okay, that is not that much, and considering the. Uh, Jumping through flaming, jagged, rusty hoops like a trained baby seal that Amazon wants all these places to do. Um, what, what was his name? Scott Galloway of L2 talked about this. In fact, I might even link his video uh, in the more info panel. Uh, and and this, was from, this, this was from way back. He already knew that there was only three places that Amazon was going to go and that all this BS horse and pony uh, light shows and fireworks, smoke and mirrors needed to stop. So uh, there's that. But uh, 25,000 jobs in 1.2 decades is nothing. Uh, average wage of 150,000. Okay. Uh, the tech giant, which has said that its tax payments in Virginia will reach 3.2 billion over two decades. You know, keep this taxes stuff in mind for later. Keep it in mind. Uh, over two decades, so twenty years. Twenty years, its tax said its tax payments in Virginia will reach, will, will will reach, will reach. So it's that tells me that it's either, either it's going to get there one shot and stay there for two decades, or it's going to slowly go up, over the course of two decades. Right, uh, Virginia will reach three point two billion. Over two decades. The second company in the history of the world or the planet to reach a trillion dollar market cap is going to pay $3.2 billion in taxes, supposedly, uh, $3.2 billion over two decades. That also is nothing. Basically, what this thing is saying is that Amazon is going to Deliver damn near nothing. I mean, hell, 12 years for 25,000 jobs, that's not anything. Uh, and then 3.2 billion in two decades, again, not anything for a huge multinational uh, organization. I wouldn't say conglomerate, although it might be, uh, but organization like that, no. Nah. Okay? People get fined for more than that. Hell, hell, how much did Volkswagen get fined for, for that whole Dieselgate bullshit? You know? Okay. Uh, in two decades. Would uh, Virginia will reach uh, tax payments in Virginia reach $3.2 billion over two decades. Would receive $573 million in state and local incentives from Virginia as part of the deal. If the Arlington County Board approves the package, Arlington would give Amazon $23 million over the next 15 years. And while we're here, uh, $3.2 billion, yes. Uh, I don't believe that Dieselgate thing was as much as this. However, again... 3.2 billion over two decades for a gigantic company like Amazon. For 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 hell, even most gigantic companies, Ford, uh, GM, uh, Microsoft, you know, whatever. But for the second company in the history of the planet to reach a trillion dollar market cap, to have hit it, right? 3.2 billion over two decades, not much. Anyway. Let's keep going. Uh, Greg Leroy, executive director of Good of Good Jobs First, which tracks corporate subsidies, 
said that organizers in Virginia would learn from New York advocates and uh, would learn from New York advocates and slam the entire way that Amazon solicits bids from cities nationwide. Quote, Amazon's, uh, here we go. Amazon's arrogance in staging a rare public auction that caused hundreds of politicians in three nations to embarrass themselves and waste millions of taxpayer dollars on bids that never had a prayer. Again, remember what I said about Scott Galloway? There you go. And I will link his, his, uh, his video uh, in the more info panel. Never had a prayer will go down in history as both a financial failure and as a negative turning point in the corporation's reputation, he said in a, uh, unquote, he said in a statement. Some community members in Arlington and Nashville, where Amazon is set to expand its presence, have pushed back in the way, in the wake of Amazon's ruling, uh, of, of Amazon ruling, in, in the wake of, Am in the wake of the Amazon ruling. Uh, somebody needs to get an editor in here. Uh, push back in the wake of Amazon ruling, I'm reading it word for word, Amazon ruling out of New York City. That should have been push back in the wake of the Amazon ruling out of New York City. Quote, communities of color, immigrant families, women, and millennials in and around the Crystal City neighborhood of, uh, of Arlington, Virginia, and the urban core of Nashville, Tennessee, demand decent and affordable homes, safe, stable jobs, uh, rely and reliable public transit, and want and and want immediate answers and accountability from Amazon. Unquote. A coalition activist battling Amazon said in a statement. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess that could be one of those people. Um, not so much the oh my god the immigrant and, 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 and minority and whatever the hell but yeah um affordable homes that's probably the biggest thing for me because here it is now i grew up in potomac and i've lived in the dc metro area from 93 till last august august of 2018. that shit just got way too expensive for me since i'm out on my own i'm not, i i i i I was not with my parents anymore. Okay, you see, I'm really stocked up. Uh, not with my parents anymore. And I just was not able to deal with the prices anymore. And that's the reason why I've set up camp here in Frederick. And I've gotten here before it blows up. Because from what I understand, Frederick, Maryland is supposed to blow up as well. And I really don't want to get pushed out into Hagerstown. And then past Hagerstown, you're either going into West Virginia or up to Pennsylvania so there's that yeah it just got too expensive way too expensive as of right now uh, right now Thursday March 7th 2019 at 10 now 59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time you can go down to DC and find efficiencies efficiencies going for one and two thousand dollars and that's before you go down to that new wharf place that they built up only st phase one of three, right? For an efficiency for for 12 to 20 something uh, thousand dollars a month, 20 something thousand, no, no, no. Uh, from 15 or so, from 1200 to 2000 plus a month, sorry, <laughs> right? That is fucking insane. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. Like, the people that can't afford that, they don't want to live in D.C. They live outside the Northwest and Southwest. Let's see, Northwest, yes. Northwest is Chevy Chase, Potomac area. Uh, Southwest is the Arling is, is Arlington. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Right. Okay, maybe a few of them, one or two of them are from Northeast and Southeast. Probably not Southeast as much. But most of them are from Northwest, Southwest, outside of D.C., right? But the people that want to live in D.C., they live in row houses, okay? They live in row houses packed in like sardines. Think interns, think aides, think um, shit like that. So, you know... <laughs> like 
Plus, there's a lot of old money as well. But it's it, 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 crazy stuff. Oh, another organizer wondered why a company with a market capitalization of around $800 billion should be given any public funds at all. I, I kind of agree with that to a certain extent. Um, or past a certain extent. It's kind of like, you know what? If you want stuff, you need to pay for it. You know, that, 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 that that's the thing I've always noticed with this. When it comes to corporations, organizations, jobs, companies and stuff, they want socialism, right? Or, 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 or not even socialism, I don't think, but perhaps communism. Communism slash socialism. Yes, I know there's a difference. Uh, as far as they want government help and government... Uh, loans, grants, subsidies, uh, tax breaks and stuff, right? Rather than standing on their own two feet, here are the taxes, you pay your taxes just like everybody else, especially considering that you want to be uh, considered a person, right? And as far as I know, the Supreme Court ruled that companies are or organizations are considered people now, right? Well, you know what? People pay fucking taxes. And there's only so much, not much at all, that they can go riding off and getting tax breaks on. But for the most part, which which really doesn't matter considering you get tax on everything. You get income tax, you get sales tax, 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 tax. Actual people, flesh and blood mortal humans, we actually have to pay for everything. Pay, 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 pay for this, pay for that. You want this, you have to pay. You want quality, pay for it. You have to pay. No free lunch, right? But yet these corporations, they want... All of these uh, the, the, these breaks, these tax breaks and stuff. And my question is, why? And I don't mean why because I don't know the obvious answer why. I'm I'm saying why why as if to, as 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 uh, meaning, if you didn't get this shit, would you survive? You know, it's real easy to be the per and this is where you know like historically between white and black people, you know, it's like, you're sitting here saying, stand on your own two feet, pull yourself up my own bootstraps and all this shit. Meanwhile, you're getting all these subsidies, land grants, all this loans and stuff to go and sit here and build up stuff. And then you turn around and tell me that I need to work hard, don't complain, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, rugged individual, sink or swim, survival of the fittest and all that foolishness. I said the same thing to these corporations. And if anybody doesn't know what I meant by white and black, go do some history in this country. Go, 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 go read up some history in this country. Um, I, I, you can start with a video here on YouTube from Martin Luther King uh, titled, I believe, uh, We're Coming to Get Our Check. You can start with that and work your way around. But back to this. If for all you organizations, corporations, companies and stuff, if you all didn't have all these government help handouts and stuff in the forms of loans, grants, incentives, and all that crap, would you be able to survive on your own two feet? Would you get anywhere near as big as you could, as, as, as you are right now? Something to think about. Individual people are told, sink or swim, survival of the fittest, figure it out. But these corporations, they want government help as much as possible instead of figuring out survival of the fittest, you know. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. Anyway. Uh, quote, how can money be given to one of the wealthiest companies in the world when we have real uh, social issues that need priority? Um, I would say, number one, pave those damn streets. Um, Arlington streets are not looking all that great either. Remember, and oh, oh, oh yeah, for anybody who's wondering, who, well, well, who the hell are you to say? Who the hell am I to say? Number one, I'm somebody that has the freedom, free will, and ability to. Number two, I'm somebody that sat there and did Uber for over three fucking years to the point where there's probably not a single street that's not off limits and for government use only, like think the White House lawn and shit, right? which the GPS tried to have me turn on to a number of times to cut across, <laughs> right? But there's probably no, in, 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 in that entire D.C. Diamond and Northern Virginia and that Arlington area, right, Arlington, Alexandria area, there is probably no street that I have not driven on at least twice, right? 
at least twice. So I, more than anybody, have some uh, claim of authority and right to be able to say whether the streets need paving or not, okay? Right. So, yeah. Uh, very real, uh, what is it? Very real uh, concerns? Yeah, probably one of those is uh, very real needs that should be prioritized. Repave those streets. That's one. And then, of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's let me let, let's be honest now. DC is not exactly some utopia. Prioritized. Uh, Danny said, "Dejas, said Dejas." Uh, Spanish people help me out, cause I think this could be uh, misspelled or 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 or, or mis mispronounced <laughs> real easy. Said de said Dejas said Dejas. Ah, uh, Sendejas, okay. Uh, an organizer with La Collectiva. Oh, very, oh, with a VA uh, capitalized, okay. La Collectiva, okay. Uh, which advocates for social justice for Latinos, okay, of course. Uh, told, uh, told NBC News. Uh, during a recent meeting... Uh, for Latinos, okay. Uh, during a recent meeting with leaders in Arlington, representatives from Amazon said they hope to be good neighbors, quote unquote, and want to, quote unquote, build a sustainable long term partnership in the region. Amazon had no comment when reached by Fox News. And so that's that. Now, this is the first article. This is the first article, and this is probably the reason, this next article is probably the reason why people are a little bit fucking pissed off. Because you keep hearing, this is the thing with taxes. You keep hearing how rich people and corporations pay so much in taxes. And every time I hear somebody say this, I ask, what, what is the literal dollar amount that they're paying? I don't want to hear about percentage. I want to know the literal dollar amount. Because if you go by percentage, then on paper... Corporations are supposed to be paying more than everybody, although I think Trump just knocked down the corporate tax rate, right? None of that means fuck all. I mean, understand this. The people that are writing the tax laws, they're getting their money from these corporations and all these different interest groups. They're not getting it from my black ass. They're not getting it from you, whoever the hell you are watching this video right now, if you got this far and didn't turn off already, unless you're one of these people that owns this thing. Right. So my question is, what is the dollar amount? Because if you're because if you're paying twenty percent or eighty percent, right? You're paying eighty percent taxes. You have an eighty percent tax rate, but it's eighty percent on a hundred dollars. That doesn't really mean fuck all compared to me only probably paying fifteen percent, but yet I'm getting taxed fifteen percent on two thousand dollars. A month or two thousand dollars every two weeks, right? Right? And how do I come down to that eighty percent of a hundred bucks? Yeah, because of write offs. And how do I know all this? Again, Uber. Uber is quote unquote uh technically like your own business. Minus the benefits and all of, and plus all the liabilities, right? I paid zero in taxes for the past three years doing Uber because of all the fucking write-offs. And while I would have preferred to have, well, not paid taxes, but I had other things to do with that money rather than having to have legitimate, quote-unquote, quote unquote, really legitimate write-offs. This is the reason why I have no fear of getting audited by the IRS because I have receipts all over the fucking place. They pull out one receipt out of the stack of three that I have well, stack that I've had for three years, I can tell them right there without skipping a beat what that was for. Right? However, all the money I spent, legitimate as they are, were on either gas, food, or maintenance on the car, leaving me with very little left for myself to go and blow on shit that I actually need to blow on, like bills. Right? And I haven't gotten them, I haven't been able to save up for a vacation, especially with the way Uber keeps lowering the rates. Right? Bringing it back, though, I know how that shit goes. You get all of your money, and then you have to get rid of that money and whatever that is a legitimate write-off. 
And then what's left is what you get taxed on. This is why you pay damn near nothing. So I know how this works. So it's not just me being some socialist communist on the outside, never had a job, never ran a business. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have, in fact, ran a business before. And so th this next article is the reason why people are a little bit up in arms about this because they... Where if, if there's not enough money to fix the streets, if there's not enough money to do this, to do that, I'm seeing police cars. When I used to do Uber, I saw police cars with taillights and headlights. Not, not all of them at once, but like a taillight out, a headlight out. I'm like, and this is the police vehicle, right? How, how the hell is that possible? You know? That's out, so what, they can't even afford to get a fucking bulb? I mean, hell, I just had to replace the bulb on my Mazda 6 just yesterday because I got pulled over by a state trooper um, for uh, for the uh, right taillight being out, right? I had to come up with that money instantly to go fix it, right? But these people don't have enough money to fix that, you know. So where the hell do you get all this money to go and give away to Amazon? Being thirsty damn near. Wanting them to pick you when you didn't have money to just fix some basic shit, you know. Like fix some of those street lights that have been out for the longest goddamn time, you know. Like, like you know, stuff like that. That is what pisses people off. There's no money to be found anywhere where it comes to actual stuff. But the moment Amazon or anybody wants to come in, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, here's all these billions, billions, trillions. That's what's pissing people off. Not because they're anti-capitalist and anti-working hard and anti-jobs and all that. No, it's because you said you didn't have the money to do all the shit that needed doing. How come you have all of a sudden the money when somebody, when the hot girl walks by, all of a sudden you can afford steak and lobster, but... When it came to paying me back, then one dollar you borrowed from me, man, I ain't got it, man. I, I, I man, catch me back on free day, man. My fatty on the injuries list. Like, how does that work? Let's go to the next article. And this, dearie, is why people are a bit pissed off. This comes from the Chicago Tribune. Amazon zero federal tax bill may infuriate, but it's perfectly legal yes it is perfectly legal again who's the one that is writing the tax laws and who's the one that's paying for the ones that are writing the tax laws it's not me and it's not you either right and this one isn't too long either so let's so let's just run through this this is by laura davison laura davison bloomberg, bloomberg news Chicago Tribune, uh, maybe, maybe Bloomberg old Chicago, I don't know, whatever. Uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon.com does not plan to pay the IRS anything this tax season. Can you say the same thing, oh, individual mortal Hume, working your 9 to 5 or whatever the hell job it is you're working? Interestingly enough, I don't plan on, well, actually, yeah, yeah, I do, because I have done Uber in a little bit now, and uh, yeah, so I am, <laughs> I'm just like you now. Amazon does not plan to pay the IRS anything this tax season. Yet that's not largely because of the, yet that's not largely because of the new tax law. Yeah, uh, Trump went and changed up the tax laws to favor them. The world's largest. Oh, wow. Ooh, man, this is hard to breathe. Uh, the world's largest retailer simply took advantage of long-standing low-profile tax deductions. It paid its employee in stock. In stock, built new warehouses. Yeah, paid its, paid its employees in stock. I don't know why employees are taking those stocks unless they got them at the ground level, which I'm pretty sure is not the case, right? Uh, I would take the actual money because stocks don't mean anything. Stocks could go down tomorrow. I, I, uh, I want the money. Cash, gold, silver, that's it. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's that's just me. Uh, it paid its employees in stock, built new warehouses, and used tax breaks granted when the company wasn't profitable. Amazon's projected $129 million refund. Refund, they're getting a refund. Let me, let me, let me keep going. 
Refund highlights how companies can use the complexities of the U.S. tax code for their own benefit. See, even I don't get, even I didn't get to do that with Uber. Like with me, there were certain things I could write off, and that's it. The mileage, the cell phone bill, I think the actual cell phone cost itself, uh, maintenance, fuel, food while working, car insurance, uh, the the auto spa monthly membership. Certain things, and that was it. I didn't, I didn't get to bend the rules of the matrix. I had certain rules that you all didn't have, but I still have my own rules. I couldn't bend or break them. Okay. Anyway, refund highlights how companies benefits. A tech company with highly appreciated stock that also relies on fulfillment centers and shipping hubs. Amazon is uniquely situated to use the full range of prefer of preferences baked into the tax laws. And it wasn't an unusual bump, uh, bumper year in 2018 that led um, led to Amazon's zero dollar tax bill. It didn't pay any any it didn't pay any federal tax in 2017 either. You hear that? But yet you you will have people saying, "Oh my God, these companies, these rich people, these organizations, they pay so much in taxes." Ah. Oh. Saying nothing of offshore havens or anything like that. Um, it, okay, let, let me just spell this out for you people. You know how people usually, if not always, on the right-wing conservative side want to talk about, oh my God, if you tax these people so much, they're just going to stop working and they're going to pull their money out and go elsewhere? Okay. Obviously, that's correct. But my question becomes... Why haven't they left yet if they're paying so much in taxes already? If they pay so much in taxes already, why have they not done exactly what you said they would do? Pull all their money out, go where? Because from what I've come to understand, the U.S. happens to be the least corrupt of everywhere. Short of, I guess, maybe Switzerland or something, but or or Luxembourg also, but those places are just too small. It's, it's, it's going to be too much if all the rich people in the U.S. decided to pull all their money out and dump it off into somewhere the size of probably one of the states, okay? Or maybe a quarter of one of the states. So my question is, if, the, if these rich people are paying so much in taxes, why have they not left yet like the right-wing conservative capitalist those types and kinds keep saying that these people would do. Put the put the tax rate at a hundred percent, and people will sit there and bitch, and people will sit there and 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 howl and whine and cry, but they're not going to go anywhere because the tax rate doesn't matter. Okay, little little bit of uh, knowledge for you people. The tax rate doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's 200% tax rate. As long as they still have those write-offs that they can make that shit to zero. The tax rate, all that does is make them spend their money faster. If they were there, if, they, if there wasn't any tax rate, they would probably sit there and hold on to their money because they don't have to put up all this risk in building a new place or a new infrastructure or do this or do that just to get rid of the fucking money. That's it. That's it, right? That's all. That's all that that does. The higher the tax rate, the more they're going to want to get rid of it and start doing write-offs and shit. So they still get to keep their money. They get to use their money. But then they don't pay any taxes. So it's 200% tax rate. Oh, my God, that hurts business. That hurts capitalism. Western civilization, all that bullshit. But nobody's going anywhere, despite the 2,000, 10,000, a trillion percent tax rate because they get all the fucking write-offs so they still get to use their money. And so, despite a trillion percent, they're not going anywhere. Notice that? Right. Ah. That feeds, back to the article, that feeds into the public's annoyance that the company with more than that a, that a company with more than $232 billion in revenue 
Yeah, okay, see, but here's the problem. In revenue, and that, and that sentence is not done. Billion in revenue, not in profits. That's the problem. That, that's, that's, got to catch those words. Uh, with more than $232 billion in revenue, and led, uh, and led by the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. Is he still the world's richest? Well, okay, I guess that divorce hasn't, uh, hasn't finalized yet. Jeff Bezos doesn't pay more in taxes. Uh, by the world's richest man. Okay, let me just read that over. That feeds into the public's annoyance that a company with more than $232 billion in revenue and led by the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, doesn't pay more in taxes. That annoyance boiled over in New York this month when Amazon, which has been offered as much as $3 billion in tax incentives to build a second headquarters in New York, dropped the plan, which, has fiercely, which was fiercely opposed by local politicians and community activists. Now, uh, I mean, hell, you can see it here. It's They weren't opposed to them dropping the plan. They were opposed to them getting the $3 billion incentives in the first place. Quote, I get the frustration. I get the frustration out there, but it's not like they're doing anything illegal. Unquote, said Brian Yarbrough, a senior equities analyst at Edward Jones. Quote, it's how the tax laws work. It's how the tax law works. Unquote. As I just explained, if you all could understand me with my voice, that's getting worse and worse because. My nose is stopped up, so I'm having to breathe through my mouth. Uh, despite having hundreds of billions in revenue, the company booked only about four point about nine point four billion in profit in 2018, creating a significantly smaller base on which taxes and on which taxes and offsetting credits and deductions are applied. See, see, hundreds of billions in revenue, right? Only this much. And this is how this is how much they're supposed to get taxed, the 9.4 billion. And then now you get to start adding up the mileage, adding up the maintenance, the gas, the fuel, the cell phone bill. You get to start this is how much you get to play with. You get to have as much fun with this as you want. And then once you bring this shit down to one dollar, then you get taxed a trillion percent on that one dollar, right? Uh, the, 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 the display base in which to tax the offset the credits and deductions are applied. The company says it's pay. Uh, the company said says it pays all required federal, state, and international taxes. Right, and that could very well be the case after it's been processed like raw material through all of these plinko game chips like stuff where it falls and caroms and bounces and reflects off whatever. So that your trillion dollars that you made in profits goes down to one cent, and you pay a trillion a trillion percent taxes on that one cent. So yes, they are in fact correct. They probably do pay all the taxes that are required of them. And this is what people, for some odd reason, still cannot figure out. But hopefully, I have explained it to the few that don't, or well, the many actually that don't get it. Through my Uber example. Quote, corporate tax is based off profits, not revenues. Should be simple enough. I just explained it a million times. And our profits remain modest, uh, given retail is a highly competitive, low margin business. Unquote. Amazon said in, in a statement. <coughs> Great. Now my throat is starting to close up. Amazon gets both the benefits I guess both the benefits usually used by technology companies, uh, which is uh, deductions for paying employees and stock, for example, and right deductions for paying employee and stock. So you're supposed to pay them money, pay the employees, you know, wage, wages, you know, paycheck, but you pay them in stock and if you know what stock is, you know you're buying into the company. So essentially, the company is getting the money back 
It's going to the employee. The employee is getting it back. It's giving it back to the company to reinvest. So the company is essentially getting back the money it gave out, right? Plus one minus one plus X minus X. And then they get to now write off the money that they just essentially went and put from their left hand into their right hand back into their left hand. <laughs> ah, yeah. You see how that works? Okay. And write-offs for companies that rely heavily on building physical infrastructure. Right. Uh, the research and development credits designed to encourage innovation in the U.S. also amounts to a tax break of up to $419 million for Amazon. Add hundreds of millions of dollars in losses uh, the company still has on its books from years before Amazon turned a profit, and its U.S. corporate tax liability can be whittled down to zero. Right. And obviously all those losses and stuff are not making the company go out of business, right? You know, they're obviously not going out of business anytime soon, short of like, I don't know, nuclear war or something. Destroying the U.S., I don't know. Uh, those tax reductions, however, are largely unrelated to the tax bill Congress passed and, and President Donald Trump signed in 2017. Amazon benefited from the new lower corporate tax rate, 21%, down from 35%, and expanded write-offs for capital investments. Interestingly enough, when you do your W-2s, or no, W-4s, W-4s is when you start employment, W-2s is when you're supposed to file taxes. When you do your W-4s, right, and you're supposed to put a 1 or a 2 or whatever, if you, at least when I was, when I first started my job at 14, um, was when I started first working. If you put zero, you got you got taxed out the ass. Like you got taxed like what, twenty five percent or twenty seven percent or some shit like that. Like it was it was really significant. You know, between federal taking out the maximum amount, state taking out the maximum amount, and of course Montgomery County, so you also have local taxes taking out the maximum amount. You lost damn near at least at least 25% closer to marching up to 50% of your money you lost. And people are like, oh, well, you get it back in taxes. Yeah, maybe. And I always thought that up until that one year in Obama's term where I thought I was going to get back a couple thousand dollars in taxes and I ended up owing a couple hundred and ever since that I said never again I'm, I'm like yo if I'm ever an employee again I'm taking the maximum amount and I will pay them back later I'll, I'll, I'll owe money but I want it all now because that, that really pissed me off anyway uh, so yeah so now 21% 21% is what more or less employees pay in taxes if they take at least one for federal deduction, one for state deduction, and I don't think they have any local deductions, but I think one for federal and one for state down on your W-4s. Uh, yeah, you could probably be paying around about this, or maybe like the high teens, that like 17, 18, 19 percent, something like that. So there you go. Uh, from 35% and expand, uh, 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 uh. yet some of the biggest tax minimizers, deductions for employee stock options and research and development are long-standing fixtures to the code that didn't change under the new law. One of the biggest factors changing Amazon's financial filings isn't a substantive, isn't a substantive, substantive, <sighs> Jesus, I'm so sorry, my, my, Jesus. Substantive, yes, Jesus. Substantive change at all. Substantive change at all, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, a deduction for stock-based compensation totaling nearly $1.1 billion in 2018 is no more prominently displayed in regulatory filings because of an account ruling change. It is now more prominently displayed in regulatory filings because of an account ruling change. Quote, the tax law didn't change one iota, Robert Willand, a tax consultant uh, based in New York City, said. Quote, it's a matter of presentation. 
And in the U.S., uh, the and and in the end, the U.S. government is better off because Amazon employees end up paying more taxes than the company can write off. All of what I just finished saying in my little breaks between reading uh, the article. There you go. And in the end, the U.S. government is better off because Amazon employees end up paying more taxes than the company can write off. Which brings back to what I was saying. I don't give a fuck what your percentage is. I want to know what the raw numbers. It's amazing how percentage X times more likely per capita. None of that means shit. Look at the raw fucking numbers. This is the reason why. If I get charged, if, if, if I have to pay an effective tax rate or tax rate of a trillion percent on one dollar, I will happily pay it and grumble and complain and whine just to keep face and make it seem like I have a problem. Secretly, I will happily pay that shit. Versus having to pay 5% on 2,000 bucks a week. Right. Oh. And yes, yes, yes. I realize that my math doesn't always add up, but you get what I'm trying to say here. I figured I wouldn't have to say that, but I know somebody's going to be a bitch. Oh my God, really? dude, trillion percent. Do you not realize? Yes, I'm very well aware. I'm just do understand what I'm trying to say here. You know, ignore the over-exaggeration to prove a point and just listen to the point. The point is... People, individual people, the worker bees are the ones paying the taxes. Not the people at the top of the pyramid. The people at the base of the pyramid are the ones paying the taxes. The people at the top of the pyramid get as close to zero as possible. The people at the bottom can't really do that. Moving right on. Ah. <sighs> Companies that take that deduction off their profits uh, tax at 21% uh, uh, profits tax companies take that deduction off their profits tax at 21%. Employees must pay tax on the income they receive from those shares at a rate of up to uh, at a rate that top at the t Jesus at, a, at rates that top out at 37%. Are you all starting to see it now? The fact that Amazon can legally reduce its tax bill to nothing calls into question the effectiveness of the code, said Matthew Gardner, a senior fellow at, a senior fellow at the Institute of Taxation and Economic Policy. While those, break, uh, while those breaks have the backing of Congress and were implemented for some social in, uh, and in, implemented for some social or economic policy, they might, economic policy goal, they might be encouraging corporate actions that would happen anyway, he said. Other profitable companies, including Netflix, General Motors, and Prudential Financial, are able to use tax breaks to completely offset their tax bills, uh, Gardner said, much like what I said earlier. Netflix, uh, Netflix spokesman Richard Siklos, Siklos, said the subscription streaming services tax breaks was reduced by a by standard tax breaks at the subscription streaming services tax break was reduced by standard tax breaks and that they anticipate their tax rate to be higher in 2019. And none of that really means fuck all for anything because he didn't actually give any solid dollar numbers. Any solid numbers. Not variables, even solid numbers. So that's just a whole bunch of sayings talking without actually saying anything. Uh, Prudential said in a statement that it is prepared, that it is prepaid some of its taxes and follows all tax requirements. GM, 
uh, soon to be, uh, I guess, GM China. Uh, Y'all know what's going on with GM. GM did not respond to a request for a comment. They're too busy packing their suitcases and heading over into China, so they don't really have time to stop. Their plane is about to leave. Quote, if you want to be mad, be mad at the people who wrote the tax code, Yarborough said. Yeah, but you look at the money. You can be mad at those people all you want. Who the hell is bankrolling those motherfuckers, right? It's, again, it is not you or I. And there you have it. There you have it. This is the reason why people are pissed off at Amazon. They pay zero in taxes. Or at the very most, damn near zero in taxes, right? But yet they're getting all these tax breaks from all these people that are trying to drop their pants and like drop panties and try to, hey, 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 we have the tightest pussy over here. Come fuck us. Our shit is airtight, vice grip tight. Their stuff is loose as the goddamn goose. Got all these people trying to do this to people to this company that pays zero already in taxes, right? They're about to get more. And then who pays the bill? Somebody has to pay. Nothing in life is free, supposedly, right? Apart from air. I guess, maybe, right? Nothing in life is free. So somebody's paying these taxes because the government is going to get their fucking money. Who's paying it if these people are able to, as a corporation or a company, conglomerate, whatever, are able to get their taxes down to zero and not pay anything, and as individual people are able to offshore haven and and, and, and and tax breaks and all this stuff there were who the hell is paying this are you sure the rich pay more in taxes are you sure about that oh right wing conservative capitalist uh whatever are you sure about that because what you're saying and how they're able to keep their money if they get taxed oh so much is not making any sense they're not leaving they're not doing less business, right? So, all this stuff about, oh my God, you tax rich more, they're going to leave. They already complained, supposedly, about getting taxed oh so much. But yet, they're not going. Where are they going to go? They're not going anywhere. They're still here. Still doing stuff to make even more money. I thought they should have gone galt. I thought I thought they should have left. Just stop producing. Stop, 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 stop bringing jobs. Stop all that crap. Because they're getting taxed oh so much, and you people hate the rich and all that. Who is paying these taxes? Because these taxes are getting paid. Okay, these poli government is not getting less money. So who is paying these taxes? Because it's not the rich. And that's that. I am going to go do uh, whatever, I don't know, sit inside a hot bath or or snort some, some hot vapors, something, get some Vicks Vapor Rub, uh, a Hall's lozenge or something. I need to be able to breathe properly because my nose is now completely out of service. Comments, comments. Uh, I don't know how long this video has gone. It wouldn't surprise me if it's been an hour. There is no timer here. But uh, if you've made it this far, do leave a comment with your thoughts. Later.